हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल होप यू फिट एंड फाइन गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन वेलकम टू इंग्लिश कुमार भारती स्टैंडर्ड टेन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अवर न्यू लेसन थ्री पॉइंट थ्री स्टीफन हॉकिंग The lesson Stephen Hawking gives an insight about the unconquerable life of Stephen Hawking. Everyone know so many things about the Stephen Hawking. Who is the Stephen Hawking? He is a famous physicist and cosmologist. What kind of the books he had been wrote? what kind of the information was given into that book what kind of the life he had been suffered and through that difficult life and the difficult situation of life still how he has wanted to do the work the that things or that thought has been teaches us he has faced so much difficulty into his career due to his health but he has never say to die spirit he always no doubt his body has been not working properly but his mind has been continuously to do the research so this lesson is giving a one kind of the moral thing that we should not lose hope or never say die spirit we have to live our life like this spirit so let's get started first understood the questions of the warming up student the question number 2 of the warming up is about the world building i am giving a separate video of that world building so you have to learn that things or uh, diff- different types of words like reduplication blending clipping acronyms that you have to understood from that video this is a first question of the warming up this is an informative question so it's a generalized thing which you added your knowledge get into pairs and match the prominent personality with the disabilities they have so into the column a the famous personalities names has been given and into the column b what difficulties what disabilities they had that had been given so you have to match it correctly first john milton john milton is the great english poet who became blind at the age of 43 years second beethoven he is an the great german composer and musician became deaf at the age of 28 years third stephen hawking he is an famous scientist of 20th century who is paralyzed fourth walt disney he is an american entrepreneur animator voice actor and had learning disability next Albert Einstein Albert Einstein is the great 20th century scientist 
and noted physicist had learning disability next thomas edison thomas edison is a great inventor who has over 1000 patents had learning disabilities and became deaf seventh helen keller helen keller was a uh, blind and deaf sudha chandran he is a dancer who whose leg had to amputated because of an accident ninth tanny gray thompson he had a she had, had a polio sorry she had she is a wheelchair racer and franklin roosevelt had polio and was elected as the president of the united states for four terms so this is an example the famous examples of the world who had so many disabilities but still they are working outstandingly into their life now let's get started to our lesson student this is a lesson stephen hawking is an informative kind of the lesson into whole lesson so much information is given about the stephen hawking so this is a generalized information of the stephen hawking stephen hawking full name is stephen william hawking He was born 8 January 1942, Oxford, England. He died at 14 March 2018 at the age of 76, Cambridge, England. He is his resting place is Westminster Abbey. He had the nationality of the British government. he had education into the st alban school heart for sure next university of oxford and university of cambridge he had been get his education he is an english theoretical physicist cosmologist author and director of the research at the center of theoretical cosmology within the cambridge university hawking was the first to set out a theory of cosmology explained by a union of the general theory of relativity and quantum machines hawking is an honorary fellow of the royal society of the arts that is called as f r s a he is a lifetime member of artificial academy of sciences and he is a recipient of the presidential medal of freedom the highest civilian award in the us next his wife name is Jen is the first. She is the first wife of the Stephen Hawking. That is the Jane Wild. They married nineteen sixty five and divorced nineteen ninety five. After he married the L A Mason, he married nineteen ninety five and divorced at two thousand and seven. Children, she he had uh, three children, including the Lucy Hawking. the so many awards he had been won that the list had been given adams prize in 1966 eddington medal in 1975 so here is the list of the medals or awards which he had been got now let's start our lesson Stephen Hawking 
is an British scientist, professor, author who was done the groundbreaking work into the physics and cosmology. Student, what is mean by a cosmology? Cosmology is the science of the origin and development of the universe. And that is, he had been working into that cosmology. He had wrote many books on the study of the physics and the cosmology and that books had helped to make the science accessible to everyone. So many did not understood what is meant by cosmology, what is meant by that and he had been do the research on it and so many people understood very well easily of about that at the age of 21 when he was studying about the cosmology at the university of cambridge he was diagnosed with the als and what is mean by als als is the one kind of the disease that is full form is amyotrophic lateral sclerosis and what had been done into that mm, disease, the uh, nervous system had not working properly. And that nervous system, system has weakened the muscles uh, power and so the whole the body has not working properly. And so because of that into that images, when you see the image of Stephen Hawking, he, his muscles are not powered so much and because of that ALS disease. A part of his life story that was had been picturized into a film in 2014. And that film name is The Theory of Everything. And that film has been picturized on the whole life of the Stephen Hawking. Students, he had wrote so many books including the 15 and more books and some uh, books he had been wrote his own self and the uh, rest of the books has co-written books and this is the list of the books black holes and baby universe and others essays brief answers to the big questions a brief history of time a briefer history of time the dreams that stuff is made of George and the Big Bang, George and the Blue Moon, George and the Unbreakable Code, George's Cosmic Treasure Hunt, George, uh, Secret Key to the Universe, God Created the Integers, the Grand Design, the Large Scale Structures of Space Time, My Brief History, The Nature of Space and Time, on the shoulders of giant book the universal in a nutshell so these are the names of the books which he had been or he co-written books are there so these are the first page of or the cover page of the books of his famous books In 1988, he had been catapulted means launched. He had been launched an international importance of one kind of the publication that is a brief history of time. That book he has been launched in 1988 and what kind of the book it is? This is a short informative book became an account of cosmology. 
for the masses and offered an overview of space and time the existence of the god and the future the work was an instant success pending more than 4 years atop that london sunday times best seller list means over 4 years uh, that book has been become the best seller book into the world since its publication it had sold millions of copies of that books worldwide and it has been translated into more than 40 languages so you can understood what kind of the importance of that book and so into that book there is a study of the science of the origin or the development of the universe it is and focused on the space and the time travel in of the space there is a existence of the god and the future that has been point had been covered stephen hawking into this book and there is the brief history of a time that is the a difficult kind of the book the everyone cannot understand properly and so he has wrote another book that is the universe in in a nutshell and this book had been launched into the 2001 and which offered or which illustrated or which is an illustrated guide means which an information book that clarifies the concept by using the examples and the pictures and so this book the universe is a nutshell it's a easier informative book which had been covered the all the cosmologies big theories with the simple examples and the picture and so this book had been literally very easy to understand of the uh, people now next in 2005 he had been wrote or hawking authored and another book that is the brief or history of time and in this book he has been simplifies the original work of the core concepts and touched upon the newest developments in the field of the like string theory means into this book he had been working or what he had been working what concept he has been uh, finding out that had been picturized simply into this book hello student just we saw that he had wrote the three different kinds of the book and into that all three books and he had done his own research also and through that research through that papers uh, and through that books he had been accepted a uh, one kind of the theory that is called as a single unifying theory and that theory has been included the two different kind of the theory that has been the cosmology theory and the quantum mechanics theory cosmology means the study of the big means the study of the universe and quantum mechanics means the study of the small and that both theory he had been given into that a single unifying theory and he had been explains that how the universe had been began through the his books through his research papers and through his theory this is a one kind of the ambitious thinking of the Haw- stephen hawking and he also claims that our brain has been 
creates the 11 dimensional neural designs to process the information and it is a one kind of the big thing he had been say said by through his books he also convinced that the time travel is possible that humans may indeed colonize the other planets in the future means through that his books through that his research papers and through that his theory that single unifying theory he had been given the points to the world that the study of the cosmology the study of the quantum mechanics and how the universe had been begun how would not the every single brain had created the 11 different kind of the dimensional neural designs to process the any kind of the information and he also convinced the readers that time travel is also possible he also gives the information that in future the humans may build or may colonize the other planets means the human can be lived into the other on other planets and so many people had made the colonies into the other planets into the future in september 2011 2010 what happened he had spoke against the idea that god could have created the universe in his book the grand design means in 2000 in september 2010 he had been wrote a new book that is named as the grand design and into that book he had been convinced the reader that god has created this universe Hawking is previously argued that belief in a creator could be capable. Capable means able to exist together without problems. With modern scientific theories means previously the science had been thought that there is no God or there is only a nature is there and science believes in nature and so the hawking had been argued that belief that he had been said that there is a some kind of the creator there is a some kind of the god The book, The Grand Design, was the first major publication in almost a decade. Within his new work, Hawking set out the new challenge to the Sir Isaac Newton's belief. And what did the Sir Isaac Newton's believe? That the universe had to had been designed by God. And simply because it could not have been born from the chaos chaos means complete disorder and confusion and so the hawking had been gives the new idea to the world through his book the grand design and that idea is god could have created the universe After that, Big Bang is a one. He had been participated into a, a one kind of the show that is named as Big Bang, and he said that into this show there that is there is unavoidable means unavoidable consequences of the law of the physics, and he also said that into this because of the there is a law such as gravity the universe can 
and will create itself from nothing and he also said that spontaneous creation is the reason there is something rather than nothing why the universe exist and why we exist at the age of 21 i already said that student the stephen hawking had been suffered from the one kind of the disease and that is uh, short form is als means at the age of 21 that stephen hawking was diagnosed with and disease that is the als means amyotrophic lateral sclerosis and this disease is also has a, another name that is a leo gehrig disease because into this disease the nerves that control his muscles were shutting down at the time doctor gave him the two and half years only to live is you can understood means at the age of 21 he diagnosed with that disease and doctor said to him that you live only two and half years and so after that he had been literally get shocked and and he wanted to study more and more he thought that i could not complete my study of phd and so he had been started so hardly on his research what is it that this is c leo gehrig disease is also called as als that is amyotrophic lateral sclerosis and what kind of the disease is it's a nervous system disease that weakens the muscles or impacts the physical functions in this disease the nervous cells break down which reduces the functionality in the muscles that they supplies and so you can when you see the image of stephen hawking at that time you understood that his nervous system is working properly but which uh, nerve cells are giving the orders to that muscles that are not functioning properly and so his muscle had be- makes weak and when he had been seen that hawking first began notice the problems with his physical health when he was in oxford and occasion he would trip and fall he slur his speech sometime he did not looked into the problem until 1963 during his first year of the cambridge and for the most part hawking had kept these symptoms to himself but when his father took notice of his condition he took the hawkings to see a doctor and for the next two weeks the 21 year old college student made his home as a medical clinic where he underwent a series of the test means you can understood into the first year of when he was studying into the oxford university at that time he wants to study so much and so when he had been saw some kind of the symptoms of that disease like he sometimes fall down he sometimes slur his he can't talk through his mouth then he saw that kind of the symptoms but he had totally neglected these problems and after one year what happened the, uh, his father had been noticed his condition very well and so after that he had been at the age of 21 he had been diagnosed that disease als and within that after that first year he had been take so many test and because 
that he is facing that the series of the so many medical tests what he said that they took a muscle sample from my arm stuck electrodes into me injected some radio opaque fluid into my spine watched it going up and down with x-rays means as they tilted the belt he once said after all that they didn't tell me what i had except that it was not multiple sclerosis and that i was antiptic calcis means through that his a typical case um, a typical case means was student it's a one kind of the unusual disease he had been done and he had been a one kind of the abnormal hardening of the body tissue he had been suffering from and through that uh, sentence we can understood how many test how many difficult kind of the test he had been suffered from that but through that test also he had been when he diagnosed that he is suffering from the disease that als and so because of that he after that he become is totally awaken and sometimes uh, in the first year he did not want to do so much study but when he realized that he was not studying he was not living more than two and half year and so he had been started working so much and he wants to study so much and he wants to complete his phd eagerly and so today we are stop this lesson up to here after that what kind of the another things another difficult condition he had been faced into his life that we have studied afterwards thank you